Welcome back. Now, due to the current uncertainty of the world economic climate, many investors have shifted their focus to commodities instead. Mm -hmm. And in Malaysia, of course, one of the biggest commodities that we produce is palm oil. Well, yes, the, I mean, the crude palm oil or CPO is, pop, is a popular commodity amongst investors. Prices have soared, but did you know, mm. Hanson, and did you know, dear viewers, you mm. can also in, uh, invest in palm oil estates themselves. Oh, yeah, the you plantation go. itself. So yes. you're not investing in the CPO, but mm. you're investing in the, the land, the land that grows. itself and what uh, the land produces. Well, of course, we don't have the details, but we know a person who does. Yep. We have with us, ladies and gentlemen, once again, our financial advisor, Mr. Yak Ming. We, he will give us the lowdown in investing in oil palm plantation, the benefits, mm -hmm. potential risks yep. as well, and finally, who should, who shouldn't buy. Isn't that right, Mr. Yak? Yes. All right. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> uh, so today, I'm going to talk about oil palm plantation uh, investment scheme. Mm -hmm. So as we all know that this uh, oil palm uh, prices uh, boom for the last few years, and that's why there's a lot of interest as to like, how do we invest and benefit from this uh, sector. So, of course, those people who can have uh, more than hundreds of thousands of millions, they can go and buy a land to produce uh, oil palm themselves, to have an estate to manage. But what happened to those people who can afford to have 5,000, 10,000 and less amount of money then? Now, now there is one investment scheme which allows you to invest and participate in the oil palm plantation business for as low as 8,000 ringgit. Okay? So today, I'm going to share with you what is it all about? Uh, what are the potential uh, benefits and what are the potential risks and whether this investment is suitable for you to invest? Now, first of all, we look at the first slide. What is this investment scheme all about? Now, I want to mention to you, this is an investment scheme that allows you to own a piece of oil plum plantation business for as low as 8,000 ringgit only. No? And such a scheme, if I take one example, uh, promise to give you guaranteed 6% return uh, per annum during the first six years of your investment. Which means, say, if you were to invest, say, 10,000, they promise to give it to you uh, at least 600 ringgit, okay, for the first six years every year. And after the six years, they promise to give you minimum 9% per annum for the next 17 years. So, what do you think? Pretty interesting, isn't it? But don't uh, sign up yet, don't invest yet. <laughs> Let's look at more details. Next slide, we look at what are the benefits about this investment scheme. The next slide you can see here, uh, this scheme allows you to participate in oil palm plantation opportunity just like all this oil palm uh, plantation uh, estate owner. Okay? And very importantly, it allows you to diversify your investment from the traditional investment like shares, properties, bonds, you know, so that you get uh, to achieve diversification. This kind of scheme, uh, the one that we are talking about here, is properly registered under Com Companies Commission of Malaysia, okay, under the Section 90 of the Companies Act 1965. And they have got a proper trustee been appointed according to the Act requirement. So you can see certain level of security for the whole scheme. And as I mentioned to you just now, it offers 6% for the first six years and then 9% for the balance of the investment years, which offer, as you can see, obviously higher return than fixed deposit. Next, we look at uh, all the benefits, but we must look at also what are the potential risks when you invest into such a scheme. Now, the next slide, we look at what are the potential risks, and you can see the number one risk of this investment is the money uh, may have some kind of liquidity issue if you need to use it. Because this money that you have will need to be invested for the next 23 years. And because that this investment scheme do not give you a land title, for you to sell it to market to a third party is going to be quite challenging. And the company will not buy back from you uh, during the first 12 months. They only buy back from you after six years. Okay? And when they buy back from you after six years, they only buy 10% of the total plots available. So if you happen to be more than the 11% or 12% owner who want to sell that year, they may not buy back from you at all. So you have a liquidity issue. Number two is that oil palm plantation business is not so straightforward because many factors that actually will affect the profitability of the business. For example, you need to manage the labor, the seed quality, the estate management, the oil palm price, the tax and regulation. So you need to trust that the management has got ability and experience to manage it. Of course, uh, if you look at the scheme further, you will understand that the 
these fees and the charges by the this manager of the scheme may not be so transparent. What does it mean then? It means that uh, when you actually invest in such a scheme, there may be certain uh, expenses or costs will be added to whatever profit being made, and then you say that what whatever balance that only give it to you. So you may have the less profit than what you expected. <coughs> now, even though there's a trustee being appointed just now in the scheme, this trustee operation is different from the unit trust trustee scheme. Under the unit trust investment scheme, if you invest 10,000, the 10,000 of your money will be actually held by the trustee. So no matter what happened to the unit trust management company, the money of 10,000 will be saved under the trustee hand. But under such a scheme, the part, only part of the money of your investment will be held by the trustee. The rest of the money actually will still be given to the management company, which will subject to the risk. And though they promise you 9% return, but that 9% return is only promised if the CPO price is more than 1,005 per ton. If the CPO price is less than 1,000 uh, 1, ringgit per ton, there will be no return given to you. Now, last but not least, the question we need to ask is that, is this investment scheme for you? Now, this investment scheme is suitable if you are someone who are positive about the future of oil palm uh, price appreciation and you want to diversify your investment from the traditional investment. But even though you will fulfill these two qualities, I would suggest you to not to invest more than 3% of your total investment asset so that you do not expose yourself too much into this oil palm investment risk. Uh, this scheme will not be suitable for you if you need the money within the three years or five years. Because otherwise, you, you may have problem getting the money back. Uh, this investment is not suitable for you if you are not so sure about the management's ability to manage the scheme profitably and efficiently. Now, last but not least, if you are a low-risk investor, you don't want to invest in any scheme that will lose you money, then I would suggest you not to touch this investment because you may have a risk of losing your money uh, at a certain point. So for that matter, this is what I have to share today about this oil palm uh, investment scheme. I hope that will give you information to decide whether this scheme is for you or not. Always remember, you can, every one of us can achieve financial freedom, optimize your money by talking to independent financial advisors <coughs> today. So back to you, Nas and Hansen. Oh, thank you, Mr. Yap. Excellent. Yeah. Lightning is on that. Yeah. Wow. Then, then here's the thing. Of course, um, some some uh, options when it comes to diversifying uh, your investments. Yeah. Mm, and yeah. oil palm plantations. Now, uh, as we said earlier, you know, I mean, a lot of people invest in crude palm oil. The prices itself simply because the prices are going up. Yeah. Yes. But the plantations, especially after you've dissected it. Now, first up. Um, it's it's it seems that you have to be hands on, especially when it depends on yeah. the management mm -hmm. of the land itself. So, yeah. so as I've investor, invested ten thousand ringgit. Can I go to the palm oil? <laughs> this hey, one's mine, ah. You ah? This one's mine, ah. Kaji ah? Ha, kaji ah. Can I put some percent ni? Apa ni? Quality ni? Tada ni? I mean, so. yeah. I mean, that just doesn't seem practical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I think if you were to invest, say, hundreds of thousands to buy a land on your own mm -hmm. and go and plant oil palm and mm -hmm. manage it yourself, mm -hmm. that's where you need to be hands-on. Mm -hmm. When you invest into this such a scheme, mm -hmm. this oil palm investment scheme, mm -hmm. there's actually a manager who manages everything for you. Right. Mm -hmm. So even if, even if you never visit this... Uh, uh, this land somewhere mm. in Guamusang in oh, Kelantan there uh, yeah, it does not matter pretty, yeah. oh, so you can stay in KL and then you don't have to do anything at all mm -hmm. they just declare the uh, profit right. and then pay the dividend to you but the profit right. does depend on the management yeah. of the whole situation for all yes. you know yeah. they could be growing kangkong there yeah exactly, <laughs> yeah. 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 exactly. Yeah. scary uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, scary. plus the, you yeah. mentioned okay the mm. fact that is that they're, they're looking at uh, returns mm. between 6 to 9% yes. mm -hmm. and that is you know after a certain period of time yes. and depending on the crude oil prices yes. mm. and on the on the flip side mm. there's the risks of losing money because mm. you're talking about you know uh, plantation of course is due to to your soil, mm -hmm. uh, your management, yes. mm -hmm. weather, yes. mm -hmm. and, oh, and of animal course, attacking your plant. Yes. Ah, yes. I didn't even so think of that as well. Yeah, <laughs> there, there's so many factors that could actually hamper or dampen the production of a palm uh, yes. uh, plantation. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have someone who's in the business for a long time and is very you know established, Experience, like Sam Darby, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I would say it's a bit risky, isn't it? Yeah. For something mm. like so, that. so that's why uh, when VG invests uh, in such a scheme, mm. we must not look at what they guarantee, what they promise and mm -hmm. things like that because mm -hmm. that, that's why you need to just study also the background of the management. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who are the background of the people? What, what are the experience they have in managing this oil palm in a prof, uh, profitable manner? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Because you can manage but at the end you always problem you cannot solve. Uh, mm -hmm. 
then it's equal to true. zero profit. And when yeah. zero profit, you don't get to earn the pro- uh, the dividend as well. Yeah. So for investors out there, of course, um, do your homework. That's mm. what we have to suggest yes. on the break for yeah. sure. Yeah. But okay, here's another one. When mm. you say gu- guaranteed six percent yes. over the next six years, mm. but depending on the group price, so yeah. it cannot be guaranteed, oh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this six percent uh, uh. for the first six years, this is definitely guaranteed. Right? Ah, yeah. I see. But if you look at the whole scheme, yeah. as, uh, as I mentioned to you, man, both. Yeah. Two guys, uh, mm-hmm. many times. Uh, there's mm-hmm. no free lunch in this There's one. no free <laughs> the lunch. The part of it come from where? Uh-huh. This is like guarantee rental from the property investment scheme that you right. have. Mm-hmm. This guarantee come from your own money. Yeah. Basically, the way I look at it is the dollar pay could be so take your money, 8,000, 8,000 this. I invest mm-hmm. first. So, uh, I go and put into a bank, yeah. things like that. A certain part of money, I will actually invest already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But certain part of money, I won't actually invest, but mm-hmm. I'll give you back first year. Uh, last year, you'll pay 6%. Right, right, and right, so, you're 6%. Right. Right. So a bit of that can, Ponzi scheme, a little bit of it. I, I, yeah. I, I then not using right. such a word of a ah, positive scheme. But what I mean is that at the end of the day, what is guaranteed uh, to be given back to you is basically your money. Exactly. What happens is that after six years, mm. okay, that's where the whatever they promise you 9%, mm. if it's more than 1,500 ringgit per yes. ton mm-hmm. uh, CPO price, uh, yes. that is the real profit. Ah, uh, see, so that's why it's subject to the CPO price by then. Well, we'll dissect this a little yeah. bit more, but first mm. of all, um, of course, we are um, highlighting the fact that uh, there is a very special seminar that's going to be happening very, very soon. Yes, the YMH 2012 mm-hmm. Personal Finance and Investment Strategies right here in Kuala Lumpur on Saturday, 3rd mm-hmm. December 2011. And we have actually three pairs of passes mm-hmm. to the seminar for our lucky winners. Exactly, of course, uh, uh, it's a hit every year. And of course, uh, Mr. Yap Ho's Personal Finance and Investment Strategies uh, will be happening again, 3rd of December. Tickets are priced at 98 ringgit. But yes, call now at this number, 7726-0548. And uh, you might be, uh, well, uh, getting uh, this three pairs of passes to the lucky winners. Yes, so if you want to save yourself some money, Mm -hmm. uh, 98 ringgit if you choose to buy at an early bird discount price. If not, you can call in this number, Mm -hmm. 0377260548, and you might send your chance to win yourself Mm -hmm. a ticket. Or actually, we have three three pairs in total to give away. Exactly. Try try your luck. We'll announce the winners later on in the show, so do stick with us uh, uh, all the way till the end. Now, we'll, we'll, we'll move on. Um, with with a little bit more dissection over here. Yes. Now, um, of course, with you highlighting uh, the fact that crude palm oil is going mm. up and this investment scheme is in place, yeah. um, how come um, there hasn't been a big wave? Or is it very, very new? Mm. Or is it people, you know, when there's an opportunity to make money, people go, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> you know? how, how? I think it's, it's, it's not that. I think that what happened is that mm. these operators of this kind of uh, Mm. oil palm investment scheme is still a very small number. Mm. You know? So that's why when they do publicity, it's not so much yet. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, as you can see, like unit trust industry mm-hmm. or insurance industry, whereby they got thousands or tens of thousands of the agents in the market yeah. so they can promote it and get to reach to more people. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's a very mature industry. Very mature very, industry. Yeah. This yeah. is a very new industry. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah. They still try to promote that. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, also could be also the knowledge a lot of people yeah. okay because when they look at the whole scheme for example pass a proposal to you Hanson yeah. you look at that uh, oil palm prices where's the future don't know uh, mm-hmm. how do you actually plan yeah. the oil palm in the profitable manner also don't know mm-hmm. you know how do they operate also not so sure yeah. so when you are not so sure about this information it makes you actually sit on the decision oh, that's right so that's, that's the purpose true. why in this segment I try to actually dissect this information mm-hmm. uh, okay. give you some actually, uh, features so that you can actually make the decision better all Either right. you're in or you're out of the same aspect. Okay, thank you, Mr. Yap. So we, we've talked about investing in palm oil plantation scheme. Uh, and I think in conclusion, mm-hmm. if you do your homework and if you still go ahead and mm-hmm. try and want to try this new investment scheme, mm-hmm. uh, Mr. Yap, of course, advocates that you do not mm-hmm. uh, allocate more than 3% yes. of your total investment finances. Yes. yes. Okay. Diversify mm-hmm. your investments. Mm-hmm. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Definitely so. Uh, thank you, Mr. Yap. And last but not least,